Hey everyone, this is Geek Out Everything and today in this video we're gonna talk about the iPhone 12. Yes guys, just like every other new iPhone will be coming this year and uh, in this video we're gonna talk about all the information that we have. So as you can see in, the, in terms of design, it is not uh, that much different from the iPhone 11. It is pretty similar but uh, if you see the edges, then they are much like uh, iPhone 5 series I would say because as you can see they are flat. So I think Apple is uh, uh, thinking about bringing back that design and I think it's a good idea but let's see how it goes so yeah in terms of design uh, we have that and if you see the back the back is uh, pretty similar but uh, we do have a triple camera setup with uh, the lidar sensor i think at the time of flight sensor or whatever you call it and if you see the front then notch looks to be pretty small like much smaller than before but uh, this is not the finalized design guys it's just a leak but then I would say guys the notch will not get removed uh, in the new iPhone 12 it will be there but what is possible is it can become uh, smaller like uh, the notch in the iPhone 11 is pretty big I would say so it can get smaller but yeah uh, if uh, they <laughs> manage to remove the notch then that would be the greatest thing but yeah and as you can see we also have the renders uh, of the uh, notchless design of the new iPhone 12 as you can see all the sensors are built in the bezel itself which is pretty fascinating as you can see the ambient sensor infrared flood illuminator space everything is inside a bezel which is pretty fascinating and amazing but uh, I don't think so that uh, this is gonna happen but it's just a leak but yeah and if this will be the finalized design then then new iPhone uh, gonna be looking really badass i would say so yeah that's about the design of the new iphone 12 now if we move on to the camera setup and stuff then we're gonna get the same camera setup as the iphone 11 the triple camera setup with the new time of flight sensor yeah the time of flight sensor could be the lidar sensor found on the new ipad 2020 it's just a uh, you know the enhanced depth sensor i would say which will help you in, uh, in you know measuring the distance of the objects and uh, the better augmented reality so yeah that's the work of the lidar sensor and it will also help in uh, portrait mode you know so it will just detect the depth uh, of the image much better so yeah that's about it and if we come on to the specs then 6.7 and 6 point inch version the bigger version will be having the 6 gigabyte of ram with a14 bionic which will, which will be one of the new chip and the 6.1 inch and 5.4 inch model will be having a 4 gigabyte of ram with the same chip which, are, which is a14 bionic so yeah uh, that's about the specs and i would say the 6 gigabyte of ram and a 14 bionic chip will be a beast combo and guys the a14 bionic is uh, rumored to be a 5 nanometer uh, chip which is really good i would say because i also have a screenshot of uh, geekbench score of the a14 bionic chip and as you can see 1658 uh, single core and 4612 multi core score is pretty high and if i just compare it with 865 then there's a difference of 1500 uh, multi core score so i think uh, this chip gonna be the beast of a chip and it is possible that it will just uh, surpass the new 865 chip so yeah that's about the chip now coming on to the displays we'll be gonna have a switchable 60 and 120 hertz display yes guys it's now a trend like uh, every new flagship which is coming uh, this year or a previous year if i talk about uh, then every phone is having a high refresh rate display so so this is not a surprise that the new iphone will be having a high refresh rate display so yeah uh, the new iphone will be gonna have a 60 and 120 hertz switchable uh, refresh rate display which is really nice I would say and there's also rumors that uh, the lightning port will be get replaced with the USB-C charging and I think this is the best thing that Apple can do because uh, you know that ecosystem of uh, uh, Apple like uh, MacBook also uses the type-c port and iPad also uses the type-c port then if uh, Apple is going to replace uh, the that lightning port in iPhone 12 uh, with USB Type-C then that would be the best thing because you know it, it will get planned in that ecosystem and you will not have to carry the extra uh, lightning charger or lightning cable with yourself so I think that's a pretty good thing but let's see what apples do because it's nothing is confirmed here guys and so now guys uh, what do you think about the new iPhone uh, and what you're expecting so let me in the comments below and if you just simply like this video then guys give this video a like and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please 
hit the subscribe button i will be really helpful and yeah see you in the next one till then peace out